How about if you could do a workout that focuses on stretching during the workout so that afterwards you feel more mobile? Let's give it a go now. Find yourself a space and we're just going to start with knee raises, alternating, pulling in the tummy muscles. You don't have to go this fast and you can go lower if you want to. It depends on your level of mobility and fitness. So just go at your own pace. Each time you raise the knee, we're gonna cross the arms in front. Hopefully, you're feeling your tummy muscles working and I want you to just try and widen the arms without flinging them. So we're not flinging like Barbara Windsor in Carry On Camping. Keep it smooth, keep the tummy in. If it's going to your back, you need to avoid that at all costs. So just keep that knee raised a lot lower. Just got a few more of these. You can go faster if you want to. You can even skip it if you're used to this workout, if you've done it a few times or if you know you're fit enough. Okay, next one, alternating heel digs. Good. So you can go faster, you can have a little hop in between, but I really want you to flex that foot, gently putting the heel on the floor. Sorry about the noise on the wooden floor. And raise your arms high without shrugging the shoulders, and each time you heel dig, press down. As if you're pressing through water. So again, you don't want to fling it, control it. You can go more slowly if you prefer. Lean slightly backwards, only a tiny bit. If that's more comfortable, you don't have to be forwards. Whatever works for you. Keep the tummy in. And again, you can add that little hop if you haven't done already. Well done, okay? And shake it out. Bring the heels together. And I'm going to place my hands on my hips, my tummy's in. I'm going to step out with the right leg and just bend the knee slightly, not too much, keeping the left leg straight. Push back, change sides. So we're aiming to keep the hip bones level here. We're going to start to point towards the bent knee with the opposite arm. You should be feeling a stretch in your inner thigh on the straight leg, but don't take it too far. It's a gradual increasing of the range of motion. Keep your tummy muscles in, a slight lean forwards at the waist. Good. If it's too much for you to come back, if you're going too far out and you're feeling it in your lower back, you need to pull in your tummy more. And if that doesn't work, don't step out as far. Now, the other arm, the one that's not pointing, can go behind and you can start to twist the chest if you like, turning the chest towards that bent knee, pressing the hand of the other arm behind, working your triceps, so you sweep it round the back. You can go faster if you prefer, but there's a danger of losing your technique if you go fast. Let's make this the last one and give the legs a shake. Well done, we're going to step the feet wide, turning out the knees and toes, and just take little squats. You can lean forwards a little if you want to. I'll just show you from the side, but it's not like that. You're not sticking out your bottom horizontally. It's going diagonally downwards. Keep the tummy in. As we go down, we're going to lean over from the waist. So keep your hips centered. Good. Keep the tummy muscles in. I meant to say at the beginning, you can use weights for this workout if you want to. It might be a good idea to do it without weights the first couple of times. Making sure you don't shrug your shoulders when you do this. Keep your shoulders back and down. We want that lovely movement at the waist. You can hold it and then bring it up if you like. Hold it. Just make sure you've not moved off center. Use your tummy muscles. Check you're not shrugging your shoulders. Press the body weight into the heels. And as you come up, try to use your bottom, your buttock muscles and the backs of your legs. So the body weight isn't going through your knees and toes, it's going into the heels. So if you feel your knees are coming forwards, you need to sit down more into the squat behind you. Just a couple more here. Last one, keep those abs in. And bring it back and zigzag your feet in. Give everything a little shake. All right, now we're going to tap behind. I'm going to show you from the side. So start with your right leg, left arm up, so opposite arm, lean forward slightly to match the diagonal line of the back leg. When you come up, stand upright, change sides. What we're aiming to do here is get the heel of the back leg towards the floor. Keep the tummy in, don't shrug your shoulders. 
So bending the front knee, but the back leg is straight. Don't twist, keep everything facing forwards. And do it gradually, so you might want to start off small. Don't worry if your heel doesn't go towards the floor, that's fine. Try and keep your hip bones level and your tummy in. And if you want to, you can start to have a little hop. It's not a big one, as you change legs. Don't shrug those shoulders. But focus on feeling that stretch in your calf muscle. Well done. And I'm going to stay facing the side so that you can see what's happening. Step back with your right leg, but this time bend the back knee and don't lean forward. So you're feeling a stretch in your hip flexor. Change sides. Keep your toes pointing forwards at all times. So feeling the stretch here. Excellent. And again, we're going to go opposite arm to leg. Out wide. Out wide. Keeping the shoulders down. Now, as you go with this one, you might be able to get a little bit closer to the floor. But if you do, make sure you use your tummy muscles to bring you back up. You might even be able to get all the way down. But remember, work to your level. We're stretching those hip flexors. We're also working the core. So from here, press into the heel of the front leg. Working your hamstrings and your glutes on that front leg. Just a couple more. Excellent. Give the legs a shake. Remember to keep those tummy muscles super, super tight. Let's take a breath in. And breathe out. And again. Keep the feet moving just gently. So as we did in our workout, just bend your right knee and stretch into that inner thigh, but we're just gonna hold it. So touching the opposite knee, shoulders away from your ears. Hold and breathe, good. Keep the tummy in and carefully change sides. So right hand to left knee and twist the chest a little bit. So you're getting that movement at the waist and you're holding it there. Breathe, relax into the stretch and bring it back to centre. So bring the feet in. So coming up and taking a heel dig right with the toes up, hands on your left thigh. So just sort of pushing your bottom backwards to increase that stretch in your hamstring. Remember heel digs are part of our workout. Now put your toes down and maybe sink a bit deeper, feel the stretch a little more. Breathe through the stretch. Coming in, changing legs. So hands on your right thigh, push your bottom backwards so you're extending the stretch into that hamstring. Tummy in, shoulders relaxed, toes down. Sink a little deeper if that works for you. Good, let's bring it up now, use your tummy muscles. Let's take a balance stretch now. So bringing your right leg out and behind, holding onto the foot, standing tall through the left hip. Good, and let's take that leg behind. As we did in the exercise, push forward through the right hip. Heel off at the back, stretching more into the hip flexor, and then heel down and lean forward, stretching into your calf muscle. Good. We can do the lower calf by bending the ankle and lifting the heel, but then trying to push it back down again. You should feel the stretch there in your lower calf. Chest is up for that one. Let's do the same on the other side. Standing tall through the right hip, bring that leg around, stand tall and gently push forward through the left. So you're stretching into your quad. Relax the upper body, breathe. Good, you get used to this balance with practice, but feel free to hold on to something if you need to. Then taking that left leg behind, pushing forward, stretching more into your hip flexor, which we already did in the workout, but we're just taking care of it here. And then hands on your right thigh, lean forward, heel down at the back. Make sure your foot doesn't stick out, it should be pointing forwards. Lift the heel, Bring your body upright and push the heel back towards the floor, bending your ankle joints a little more for your lower calf. Now I recommend sitting down for the next one. So we're going to cross the right leg over the left leg and use the left leg to pull the right leg further over. So this is stretching around your outer thigh and glutes and you can just turn your body towards your right side. So you're stretching through the waist as well and then changing sides, so crossing over, twisting, using your spare hand, your right hand, to press your legs the opposite way. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed, feel that stretch around your outer thigh and glutes. Bring it back to the middle, and we're gonna stretch through the back, so you can do this standing up if you prefer, pushing forward through the pubic bone, tummy muscles in, go as low as you feel comfortable, and then to come up, use the abs, 
Again, push forward through the pubic bone. We come up vertebra by vertebra, rolling the shoulders back, bringing us into a stretch of the chest. Keep the tummy in, so squeeze your shoulder blades together. Really stretch out here. Let's just do the triceps, place the hands on the shoulders and stretch the elbows up towards the ceiling, scooping up and lengthening, lengthening those tricep muscles. Keep your knees soft and your tummy in. Excellent. Well done. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed that.